lawyers for Prince Harry have claimed that the son hacked phone calls between King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla during the 1990s. The allegation was made as part of Harry's case against the paper's publisher news group Newspapers NGN, in which he claims they gathered information about him and other members of his family illegally. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community. Harry's lawyer has raised concerns that if the then Prince of Wales and Camilla were intercepted then Harry's private information was also at risk. NGN has denied all allegations made by the Prince and in a separate claim by actor Hugh Grant. The publisher has brought an application to have the claims struck out because the Duke of Sussex and Mr Grant have brought their claims too late. Harry's barrister David Sherborne said, the claimant will rely on these instances in support of the contention that the inevitable and or intended consequence of these interceptions is that his own private information will have been intercepted as a result since his father was communicating or receiving private information about the claimant's education, health and welfare. His barrister Mr. Sherborne has also accused NGN of intercepting calls made by Harry's late mother Princess Diana. The hearing began on Tuesday, April 25, with Harry claiming that a deal struck between Buckingham Palace and NGN was what had stopped him pursuing the case earlier. He said he became aware of the alleged deal in 2012, however NGN has denied such an agreement ever took place. The High Court hearing is due to conclude on Thursday, April 27, with the judge then determining if the case should proceed to a trial expected to take place in January next year. However, if NGN is able to successfully throw out the Duke's claim it may also be able to block Mr Grant's case too. In a previous statement to the court, it was claimed that William, now the Prince of Wales, has allegedly recently reached a settlement with NGN for a huge sum of money in 2020. Kensington Palace declined to comment on behalf of the Prince of Wales. Melting